everybody, my name is Zul, and welcome to my video on how to install the Sith Lords Restored Content Mod for the retail version of KOTOR 2. If you have a different version of KOTOR 2, then click on the annotations on the screen or the links in the description to be taken to the videos for the different versions of the game. This video is going to be focusing on the 4 disc retail version of KOTOR 2. If for example you're using Steam, this video is not going to be optimal for you, so I've made a separate video covering on how to install this on Steam version of KOTOR 2. So go ahead and watch that video, otherwise let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is install the retail version of KOTOR 2. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can do this by yourself, but just in case you need to know, I am using the disc version of the game. This is the 4 disc version, so just keep that in mind. It'll take a little while to install, but once it is installed, we can move on to the next step. Once the game has been successfully installed, you're going to be presented with this launcher. Before we do anything else, however, we are going to have to get the official patches for the game. Uh, we can't just click update here, it's not going to work. So what you should do is head over to the link in the description to the Disney page where you can download the official patches. If you are using the US version of the game, you can just download this one and get going. If you are using an international version, you must first download 1.0a install that, and then download 1.0b and install that. I, however, am using a US copy of the game, so I'm just going to go ahead and download this now. It'll take a little while, but once it's downloaded, I will walk you through how to install the patch. Alright, so once the official patch is downloaded, uh, I would recommend you just drag it to your desktop. It's just this executable right here. Then give it a double click to activate the executable, clicking run if it prompts you. After that, it's going to update your Sith Lords to 1.0b, which is the latest version of the game. So just click OK and allow this to process. It can take a little while, so you know, just give it a little bit of time. Once it's done, we will continue with the video. So after that, we can click OK and it will be necessary to restart your PC. Kind of unfortunate, but unavoidable. So just go ahead and do that and then we will be back. Alright, so after you've restarted your computer, go ahead and launch KOTOR 2 once again. Uh, this time the game will be updated to the latest version, and we're actually going to go ahead and launch the game just to make sure that everything's working, to make sure that if there's any crashes later on, we know that it's not because of the mod, it's because of the game, or vice versa. It's just going to make things easier. Let's go ahead and launch the game. As we can see here, the game is working. You might want to try making a new character really quick just to see if things are working. Just enter the world once really quickly, and if there's any problems, leave a comment down below. If you're having issues with hardware compatibility, things like that, try enabling VSync and disabling movies, that has been known to help. Otherwise, leave a comment down below, I'll help you out. Anyways, let's get focusing now on installing the Sith Lords Restored content mod itself. Okay, so now that the game is installed and we know that it's working successfully and we have it all patched up, we can begin with the installation process. So the first thing we're going to need to do is download the Sith Lords Restored content mod. This can be found over on DeadlyStream.com, there's going to be a link in the description. And as we can see, you just hit the download button right here and it'll begin downloading the mod. Now to save time, I've already done that ahead of time, and I've dragged the executable to my desktop. So it's this one right here, the Sith Lords Restored Content Mod 183b.exe. Double click on this, and if it prompts you for anything, just go ahead and click Run. After that, just give it a few seconds, and it's going to open up this here. Now you're going to need to use the language for the installation, in this case English, because I speak English. After that, uh, the launcher is going to all be in English. Then hit Next. Now you're going to need to enter the directory where your game is installed. This doesn't check the registry or anything, it's not going to auto detect, so sometimes you'll come up with an error like this where it leads you to the wrong place. If that happens, simply type in the one that you need right here. Uh, for the 32-bit windows, 64-bit windows, I'll put them all on screen, and I'll even throw in the good old games version just in case. So as you can see, I have my game installed in the default 64-bit installation path, so just make sure that this is correct before you continue on. This is a very important step. If you don't know where your game is, leave a comment down below, I can help you find it. Or just go ahead and look through some of the folders in your game. If you didn't change it, it's probably just in the default path though. Anyway, go ahead and click Next, and you're going to need to select English, because this is uh, which language the mod is in, and it needs to match your version of the game. So if you have the English version of KOTOR, you you need to use the English version of the mod. So just go ahead and click next and then it's just going to confirm everything with you. That looks all correct to me. Go ahead and hit install. Once that's done, you're going to get this screen. Keep this checked off and hit finish. 
this is going to launch the readme, which is right here. This readme is actually really useful. Uh, the most useful thing on it is if you scroll down to the bottom, it's going to have an FAQ. Uh, and this is going to help you troubleshoot a lot of other problems, as you can see right here. Uh, so if you're having problems, I would recommend looking through these known issues first before leaving a comment or going over to harass the mod authors on DeadlyStream.com. And another thing you should really pay attention to is the mod compatibility. So read this and make sure you don't have a mod that's incompatible installed because that could cause a CTD or crash to desktop. So just make sure you give this a quick read over if you're having any trouble. Alright, once the Sith Lords Restored content mod has been installed successfully, we're going to want to launch the game once just to test it out. So go ahead, double click on the game's uh, icon or however you launch the game, and open it up. Now if it opens up with a new launcher like this, as you can see the Sith Lords Restored content mod has its own launcher, then you know the mod has been installed successfully. I would also recommend though that you go all the way into the game just to make sure that everything's working, just to make sure there's no crash or anything, and this will help you isolate problems along the road. It's always recommended to you know launch the game at least once, make sure it's working before you go ahead and pile on a bunch of mods. So let's go do that now. As you can see I launched the game and everything's working fine. We now have the new uh, Sith Lords Restored content modification thing up here as well. Uh, just beware when installing texture mods because some of them do actually change this screen. So you know, always make sure that you test and install the restored content mod first before you install anything else. Now that we've done that, we can move over and install the Droid Planet mod. M478EP, the Droid Planet mod, can be downloaded on DeadlyStream.com. This is a mod that adds the Droid Planet that was cut from the game, where you can meet Master Vash and do a lot of other things. Uh, just go ahead and click the download button right here, and uh, you're going to get an executable. If you'd like to learn more about this mod, I am working on a review of it. I'm not sure if it'll be out by the time of this video, but when it is, I'll put something on the screen somewhere, and you can just click here and check it out. Anyway, once the mod has been downloaded, just drag it over to your desktop, uh, you have the executable right here, and then just click on it. It's going to open up a little security warning if you have certain versions of Windows. If it does, just go ahead and click run. Don't worry, it is perfectly safe. Then it's just going to take a little while and open up the wizard, in which case you're just going to hit next. Ensure that this is the correct file path. Remember, this is going to be the same one you used for the Sith Lords Restored content mod, so make sure that that's correct. After that, hit next. It's going to confirm with you the destination, which in this case is the same as the destination last time, and then go ahead and hit install. Now a word of warning, this mod doesn't have a super easy way to tell if it's installed like the other one. You can't even visit the droid planet until after finishing Korriban, so keep that in mind. Once the installation is done, just go ahead and click finish. It's going to launch up this little uh, information here in the readme. Uh, again, there is an FAQ here, so I would recommend going ahead and checking it out if you have any problems. Other than that, you're good to go. Uh, everything should be working. You can launch the game one more time, make sure everything's good, and then you can go ahead and do you know, a 1080p fix, get some texture mods, all that awesome stuff. There's videos on my channel for it. I'm going to put a playlist in the comment section below. Or not in the comments, like that. that'd be weird. Maybe I'll do that. But in the description, uh, to a bunch of different mods that you can use and try out. Just make sure they're compatible with the Sith Lords Restored content mod. You can check out, there's a forum post for it. And on DeadlyStream.com, I think almost every mod has a little thing that tells you if they're compatible or not. So just, just pay attention to that because it could cause a crash to desktop. Anyways, I hope this video helped. And again, if you were looking for a different version of uh, how to install the Sith Lords Restored content mod, I'll put some stuff up on the screen now. You can click it. I don't know why. I put this at the end of the video because I mean if you've watched this far you've probably realized that it might not be the version that you have but either way I'm, I'm doing it anyway. Uh, a couple of other things, if you like what you see here, check out some of my other videos. I do a lot of videos and I do take requests for tutorials. So if you'd like me to showcase a mod you've made, showcase a mod you love, uh, do a tutorial on how to install something, let me know in the comments. Please check out some of my other stuff, consider subscribing. Oh, and uh, you can check out my Let's Play of Dragon Age Origins. You know, uh, just just putting that out there, you know, that's, that's a thing that I do. Anyway, I've been Zool, and I hope you have an excellent day. Thank <laughs> you.